Well, they're playing music, so I'll probably have to edit the sound out. I don't know how many more cruises I'll film. I'm going to have a implant put in there next week on right there. So I'm going to have a mouthful of stitches. So who knows how many more of these I'll go to this month. It totally brings back memories of working on the school buses. Where was this at? Romeo Community Schools. Oh, was it? Okay. They're all Ford chassis yeah. they had, yeah. They all had five-speed manuals and air brakes on oh, every one of them. Okay, this is a five-speed manual, but it's got hydraulic brakes. Hydrovac? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty nice. This is a 1978 F700. All the pump controls and everything. Yeah. Open the door if you want to get a, a better view of the Thank you. Oh, wow. Is it 30,000 the original miles? Yeah. Yeah, they don't, you don't get a lot of miles on them from these small towns. Right. Every fire truck I've ever found has been ultra low mileage. Yeah. Boy, it's solid, that's for sure. It is. It's, it's been indoors its whole life. Everywhere where these things usually rush, rust out is completely solid. Yeah. And being from uh, down in Kansas, they don't use salt on the road. Uh huh. So they, they get more tornadoes than snow. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine this thing has seen lots of tornado action. Yeah, as long as it's not in a tornado. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty slick. It's a lot of fun. I mean, but, uh, No, no, I got, I got over here. Okay. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Yes, it was. This is a set of sleeves out of the car. Then. Oh, really? It has removable sleeves. Yeah, it's a, it's a night engine. I've you, never seen anything like that. Does the sleeve move? And are you taking a picture of it now? Yeah. Oh, well, I'll show you. I can pick it up. I've never you, seen you anything have, like that. You have the crankshaft for the pistons, and the pistons in here. Then along the side here, where that bus bar is, you have an eccentric shaft, and they run these off these here, these connecting rods. And come on, get over there. So it's like a cam that runs those two. Yeah, 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 right. Same thing, only call it eccentric shaft. Uh -huh. Now, this is the intake. Here are these two reports, the intake. And then it comes down, it closes off, and it, you know, it comes down, and then it comes back up and it fires. And then you have the exhaust, which would be here. Right there, okay. Right. And that's as far as they move. That's about as far as it moves, and they're all three moving at the same time. Real quiet running engine. So the piston's running in the bore, this yeah. is running in that, and that's running in the block. Yeah, they're all three moving up and down in the block. Interesting. Like say, that's the, the intake, and over here would be the exhaust. But it's a four cycle, so, uh -huh. you know, it would open and close a couple of times before it would, you know, they got uh, combustion, and then it comes down, and then it would be where it would fire, and then the ex intake and the ex exhaust over here. That yeah. is so interesting. Yeah, this, this is the same as a Willie's Night, which always wanted to come out with a lower price night engine. Uh -huh. they got, this is a standard six. The grade six would be twice the size of this engine. I can open up to the other side and you have more sun coming. Yeah, out. totally. I want to get a little... Of course, they got the vacuum tank here. Uh-huh. Love the colors of it. 
it's absolutely beautiful. They had, the Falcon Knight had a gray ghost in 27, 28. And they only made a few of them, and this is what the color was. Okay. And it had, it was a roadster, and it had the fold down windshield, wear wheels, and everything. And I, I just had a, had new uh, hunt cast made here last year. I had uh, the other members in the club. I, I took orders for them. They were sets of four. I had the guy make up twenty of them. Uh huh. Now I see this pipe goes over the cylinder yeah, head that's here. That's exhaust. So. It, is the intake on the other side and it's a, like a flow through the block or? Uh, well, you seen that bus bar on uh -huh. the other side? Yeah. It had those bolts, they're hollow down the, down here. And they come up here and, and just below the head there's a hole, a cross hole. And it screws in there and it sucks the exhaust and that off of the pistons. Okay. And then it comes down here, there's a, there's a pipe right here. It comes yeah, right through okay. the block and comes in here. This is a rectifier. It works something like a PCV okay. you know, valve, and it's got a piss, uh, sleeve or a float in here. And when it fills up with the oil, then it it somehow can click something. There's a ball bearing in the bottom, uh -huh. and also all the oil used oil, or the oil in that goes back into the crankcase, and the exhaust fumes go back into the manifold and burns off and goes out the back. I'll be darned. Night engines were really known to smoke, you know. And way back in the teens and the twenties they did, but then they got this rectifier on there and it really worked great. I don't have any problems with the exhaust at all. Okay. And I've had it since eighty okay. eight. Yeah. So you've had it a while and, well, that, yeah. mm -hmm. That's interesting. Beautiful dashboard and I really that looks like it was ahead of its time in styling. Well, uh, 20, 25, they had the four-cylinder night engine, uh -huh. and it was, it was, they were about this high, and maybe this long, and then the, 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 the great six, as they call it, the, the big six, or the great six, it was twice the size of this engine, if you ever get a chance to see one. I've seen one in a museum, I've never seen one in a car, just an engine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a good turnout here today. The music is a little loud. I don't know if I'm going to have to edit sound out of some of the video in that. That era of trucks, they were total rust buckets. It's nice to see one that somebody saved. They use this body style all through the 70s, 73 to, I don't know, 78 or 9. It's in good shape. What year is your truck? 73, that was the first year of that body then. It's nice, I like it.
Oh, I like how they did the dash. Looks really nice. Had a nice outing in the 59 Chevy. Went to a cruise with it tonight and had a good time. The transmission's been shifting good. Haven't had any issues with any gear clash or anything since I changed the gear oil in it to that other brand of gear oil, or Redline or whatever it is. So we're all good now. So sometime I gotta get it in and get the Fernando line, the steering wheel is a little off center to the right since I replaced that right lower ball joint. So maybe next week or two I'll get it in and get the front end aligned on it. Thank you for watching my video.